Welcome back to another episode of Real Rap Mini. This is Ruby Volume 8, Chapter, what is it, 10? Ultimatum? Yeah, 10. Yeah, it is 10. Interesting episode this week. Interesting. <laughs> it was very funny. Very funny episode. It looked good, too, though. It, it had some really it, it, pretty it moments. It pretty good. So it looked good. We we left off when we left off last week, or I guess two weeks ago, since they were they were on a break. Uh, no, they they weren't on break. Uh, Texas was under. They uh, were on a forceful week break. So national emergency pack watch. Right. That's so like terrible. I said, a week break. Praise up to anybody that was uh, you know suffering from that because that shit was fucking horrible. For sure. For sure. Yeah, but but two weeks ago we we left off and and <laughs> Ozpin set the shit off. Oh yeah, Salem uh, got hit with some that shit. shit up like Christmas. Oh yeah, nigga, let that chopper sing, bro. And we start up this episode, this episode to the fucking aftermath of that. After we get a little bit of Ironwood, come in, fucking Aesop's and Winter are about to go drop the fucking payload off like it's TF2 inside the fucking well. But it doesn't matter because Oscar fucking lit that shit up, and it like that shit was. The, the fucking effects of that was far-reaching as hell. I think the, every Grim in like a fucking five-mile radius got fucking wiggled. It's way more than five miles. It has to be. Five, six. <laughs> Essentially, they're outside the fucking Kingdom of Alice entirely. And inside the city, like in the heart of the city, Grim are getting put to fucking bed, bro. That shit was bad. They, they getting laid to rest. <laughs> Fade, the whales faded away. It, it looks like a complete, just just desolate land. Yeah, none but fucking dust, not the elements. Like, actual just dust kicked up in the city. It's just all yellow. Whereas, like, the overall tone of it was, like, fucking blue before. Now it's just all yellow. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the leftover magic. Or maybe that nigga Damn kicked dust. up a bunch of fucking... Yeah, kicked up a bunch of dirt on the way there. But that's different now. The damn dust bowl. It was a pretty cool scene. You know, it was, it was a great scene. Then we get a and conversation then, between w- Watts and Cinder. And, I mean, no, nothing really happens here. It, it's just, um, th- this is the, uh, I don't know what what to call it exactly. Like, like this is the, it, it, it's, a, it's a turning point for Cinder's character where somebody finally decides to tell her that everything she's doing is wrong. Like not not wrong in, in a in a sense of like a, a good or bad. It's just you. It, it's the you can't accomplish anything because you are your own worst enemy. Yeah. Like, if anything, I wish he went deeper into because t- he goes over all of her fucking failures. Like Raven, how she got fucking put on pack watch, uh, and then how you know when he tried to fight Winter and Penny, it was a whole fucking blow up. Like this, it wasn't good. And I wish he he went back to detail like. The only reason why you won at Beacon is that you took your time, you kept a level head. You didn't just charge in and try to fucking destroy everything. And it, it would have been better to, you know, lean into, you know, now that you have a taste of power, you don't know what the fuck to do anymore. Like, you're not being smart and you're just giving up free opportunities that should be yours because you're being stupid about everything. But I guess that's just, you know, more subtle. Maybe her internal dialogue or whatever, like, she'll realize that later, but... It was really cool hearing fucking Watts blow up on her because this nigga has been getting fucked on for like. <laughs> They've been doing nothing but throwing Watts down the stairs, beating him while he's down, stomping him, kicking his ribs in, for an entire like three seasons. It's it's been so fucking bad. He's just been getting out like he was winning like all volume seven, right? Pull up on James. James suplexed him. That's fine, right? You come into this volume, think he has everything under control? No, he's getting beaten like a fucking wild dog. They're beating him in prison, <clears throat> taking him out of the prison to beat him, to force him to do things he doesn't want to do, then beat him and put him back in the cell and beat him some more. It's kind of like Oscar. Yeah, actually. Except that, I mean, Oscar's out now. It's fucking, Watts is probably still one or two snarky comments away from Cinder punching him again. Yeah, but but no, seeing him, uh, seeing him dress her down is is actually just like, you you need that as a, as she she needed that, and it's good. <coughs> personally, I probably would have rather it be Mercury, not Mercury. Fuck that guy, that guy's dead. Um, Emerald, 
Like, like per- personally, I, I'd, I'd have rather it be Emerald because, like, you know, that's that's her friend. And if anything, yeah, I that's agree. Her everything, I feel like, bro. I feel like <laughs> I was ready for Cinder to just drop him after that. Oh yeah, because she sure. doesn't. She has no reason to fucking keep him. He's right. I guess that's why she didn't drop him. But for the most part, she really doesn't like him. Like she's never. They've never liked each other. Ever. And she could probably get away with saying, oh, yeah, Ironwood fucking sent this nigga straight to hell. But, <laughs> had I mean... Captivity. When, I, when I tried to get him back, they killed him. Yeah, circumstances changed, and I guess he had to be the one to say it. Because he did need this, so... This is what it is. Would rather be on but hey, she's off fucking hanging out with Oscar and pals in Atlas. Yeah, so dead. Doing nothing. The, she she's lamenting over Hazel even though Hazel like see that that's the problem with with character relationships when when you don't emphasize them it looks weird because yeah H- H- Hazel was kind of like the the big brother figure to all those young kids whether they wanted it or not yeah but at the same time I never saw that I see them in maybe five scenes total together. I think there was two times where he did directly stop them from getting fucking mollywhopped by Salem, but <clears throat> then he instead was put on the fucking chopping block and she was also about to murk him. So I don't I don't know. Also, it might be the sheer horror of like looking at the ass and it's like, oh, is this the whale? Is this Salem? Is this Hazel? There are parts of Hazel on me now? Ew. Did this guy just get fucking <laughs> incinerated and I'm stepping on his fucking Pieces of his fucking body. Yuck. It's actually disgusting. Definitely what happened, that's by the way. Probably where that comes from. Uh, so Sox they all leave. And, and Cinder. I'm I'm skipping over that. Then. Are you skipping? Uh, no, no, we gotta we gotta put run on pack watch. We gotta put run. Oh on yeah, watch. no. They, so they're walking <laughs> in the tunnel, and Oscar's just like, yeah, you know, I know we we don't trust Emerald, but you know. We, we we got a lot of help from somebody we we didn't trust either. And here come Reynolds snitching us with, with his EX uh, semblance <laughs> ability. Talking about, yeah, you're talking about Ozpin, right, bro? Come on. Uh, yeah, I, there's a reason I didn't say his name. I was being subtle for a reason, guy. Now nah, everything has <laughs> stopped. Ozpin's back. Uh, here we go. And then it's just when he talks about, like, oh, yeah, it's Ozpin. And when he was talking about we can't let ourselves be controlled by fear. Like, at, at this point, he might as well just be saying, hey, guys, I can see your emotions, and you guys are actually really scared right now. Can we t- can we tune that down a bit? Yeah, but or he, he already said that. He, he told them that when, when they were going in the uh, in the whale looking for Oscar. Yeah, and I, that shit, it's it's annoying now, because it's like, what? At this point, when he's, when he's talking to me, if I'm, if I'm a character in the show, if he's talking to me, it's not even like... It's, it's, it's natural. He's just... He's saying exactly what I need to. Some, sometimes I don't need to always hear exactly what I need to hear. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like he's just he's just getting straight to the point and giving the the perfect answer every time. And it's just like what this is for a character that was already boring. This it got even more boring. That's Especially right. coming coming right off of him saying exactly the wrong shit to Yang and to John. He said all the wrong fucking things after they were fucking walking back to Mantle or trying to walk back to Mantle. He said all the wrong fucking... This nigga brought up some shit from, like, five fucking seasons ago that nobody remembers. And then to to see him now saying all the right shit, this nigga's getting on a, a 100 when he was at, like, a 25 before. Like, what the fuck is this? He, he knows all the answers. It looked like he cheated. He knows, at, like, it's, it's actually perfect. Oh, we need to... The plot... Uh, Wants us to keep Emerald around and not go fuck off to Cinder, right? Okay, he's gonna try to influence them to keep her around because you know we can't be controlled by fear. whatever the fuck that means, right? Oscar was oh. going to vouch for her because it's just like, yo, we we don't have a choice. Exactly, but now it's now it's fucking it's two on two, whereas before it'd probably be fucking one on three, because Oscar's the only one that doesn't really have beef with her. The three of them, like Yang said it best, they all got put. A, something happened, to all of them, because of her. Beacon started primarily off. She kicks it off. Oh yeah, because actually, yo, she she put. She hold can, on. You can't you can't have Beacon without her. Yeah, you can say Watts fucking hacked me. You can't have Beacon without her. 
No, even on a more personal level, that whole she she's a whole criminal. <laughs> yeah, but she she's a whole like 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 renegade loose cannon character now because uh, of, she, because uh, she doesn't matter. doesn't matter them. What yeah, matters no, is it, on on a personal level. It's just like. <laughs> on Even a though they, level, they don't care and they don't say it, it's something real that nah. she would have a beef with this character over. On a personal level to Jean and Ren, she was poking around in Pierre's mind and made her pack up Penny. Oh, that's facts too. I'm just saying. <clears throat> uh, what else is it? And then him just giving up Ozpin. Like, you don't even give... I Like, obviously, Oscar's dialogue a little bit... Uh, Sketchy. A, a, a little bit weird. Like, uh you really want to give that up? I mean, last time you, you brought up Ozpin to anybody, niggas were ready, ready to lay you out, but... Yeah, John was ready <laughs> to put you through the wall. And then here comes fucking Ren, taking the fucking... the opportunity away from him, even if he wanted to straight up say, yeah, I got a little bit of help from Ozpin. Here comes... here comes fucking Ren. <laughs> uh, based, right. You know, based off your emotions and how you're feeling, you know, I think Ozpin is back. I'm seeing a lot of emotions. They might not all be yours right now. I think Ozpin's back. Straight, Great, straight thanks. Snitched on him. Thanks, buddy. And then we cut to more snitching, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so fucking Aesop's and, and Winter come back. They tell Ironwood, hey, uh, we didn't blow that whale up. And he's like, oh, okay, but we can use the payload for something else. Some, a little, little bit of something else. Whatever the fuck that means. A little bit of <clears throat> human indecency, but yeah. And then he's like, he tells them, oh, yeah, Crow and them escaped. Uh, and you know a good way to get them back is to probably use our our, our leverage that we got because you guys picked up Yang, John, and Ren, right? <clears throat> picked <laughs> in the and past. The winner, the winner's like, <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got him. <laughs> we got him, got him in in, in, in a here, ship somewhere. Here fucking comes Harriet. Yeah, uh, team leader decided to let them go and and put them in the whale. Whale exploded. We don't know where they went, by the way. Iron would lose this shit. Breaks his whole table that he the fuck yeah, the war table. What the gone destroyed, broke that shit. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? And but then he hits him. He, I think he sees the SDC ships, right? Or maybe yeah. he saw it before. Well, no, nah, they, they uh, they, he he get the call from command, and they're like, "Yo, we got uh, a <laughs> bunch of ships in the airspace." Yeah. What are they? Uh, Schneed Dust Company ships. I see. And then that that get that big reveal. What he's gonna do with that gets saved for later. But essentially, I don't. What is it, what is Harry's problem? Like, what's her issue? What's wrong uh, with it? Crow what's kills good? Clover, and be, e- even though um, Robin's semblance is indiscriminate, they refuse to listen and, and absolve him of all those crimes. Mm. Actually, you know what? I-, I can't even say that that her thing is indiscriminate. Because Crow-, Crow feels guilty about it because it-, it technically is his fault. Even though he didn't... You have to ask him the, the serious question of, did you kill Clover? And knowing yeah, how that- shitty Crow is-, is as a character at this point in time, he'll say yes and it'll be right. <clears throat> okay, but you don't know that, though, as Ironwood. Like that that's a big yeah. <laughs> I was well, I mean, we're, we're more so talking about Harriet, but I'm and I'm just saying that you using Robin as, as a lie detector test might go wrong because Crow is is literally uh not he, he's literally doing his best Jesus Christ impression right now of taking I mean all responsibility for that entire situation, even though it's not his fault. I guess, you know, him them picking him up, seeing the fucking sword covered in Clover's blood, Clover has a fucking big-ass this. You don't need much more than that. But I guess if he did try to fight it, I wouldn't you use the semblance That's what I'm saying. specifically to prove, in, to prove shit like that. But if he's not fighting it, then I guess it doesn't matter. Right. <clears throat> but, I mean, he feels the type of way. He wants to get out of jail. Bringing it up isn't a bad idea. No, that guy does not care about being in jail. <laughs> Had yeah, I, not I, blown that shit up, he would have stayed there. But he want he he said Ironwood has to take the fall. Yeah, after he got out, when, when he you're he not sitting, getting out. <laughs> but but when he was sitting in the pen, that nigga was not worried. That nigga was still so sitting I, there lamenting and and molding. All right. So when when the Atlas Council gives me ninety five to life, how am I gonna get back at at James for this? <laughs> you're not. 
But Ironwood has to take the fall, though, is what he said. Hey, man. Hey, next fucking topic. That guy, that guy knew he was getting out, man. I don't, I don't know Harry, that Harry is saying. fucking. Harry is dumb. Oh, I understand. They, they, we, we didn't even say the best part. The Jock, Jock's still alive, and they got that man at lock up still. Yeah, no. Jock not going Fuck nowhere. <laughs> don't worry about Jock. It don't matter. I told you he's he's only counting up crimes right now. I know <laughs> Ironwood said twice, but nigga, who gave you the password for that? It's Jock. Give that nigga fucking one hundred and five to life. <laughs> I don't know. You're gone. It's like it's not even two life. It's just life. That's the sentence. <laughs> Just life. <laughs> Give that nigga the fucking business, bro. Pause. Uh, all right. So he, yeah. Next, we go back to the fucking manor where they spent half the fucking volume, if not they the do entire nothing volume, in this fucking house, except to <clears throat> argue and and talk about Weiss's problem, Weiss's family's it's the, problems. It's the fucking Chelsea house, bro. They're sitting there having a chat, talking. What, what was it? The beginning of the episode where everything was getting wiggled. Weiss comes in with some fucking, some tea, some fucking bread and shit like that. <clears throat> and the chat so else are just... Shit and it didn't break. They got the strongest, <laughs> they got the strongest, um, damn, fine I told you why. in all I told of you why they didn't want to do it. I told you why they didn't want to do it. I don't I'm care. not model. I'm not modeling and animating all that shit. You're good. For a throwaway scene? No, you're good. I'm just saying. They got the strongest though, fine china in the land. Even though that... Totally fucks the whole composition of that shot, but it's it's fine. Doesn't matter. She, she dropped that whole last plate. You would have thought it was made of plastic. <laughs> that whole plate with that whole teacup and that whole other thing on there. You would have thought this shit was made of plastic. A- anything would break. No, and that's a nitpick though. We're good. Um, of course, it's a nitpick, so yeah. It's everybody, funny. everybody, <laughs> everybody comes back from war. All the characters that were doing shit and being proactive are now here. At the Chatsy house to get fucking more exposition to leave again. They come back, everybody's all happy and shit. Uh, Ruby's about to pull on fucking Emerald, but she has a reaction time with fucking Snail and does not. And, and then Oscar the, the Amber alert there. start popping. Yeah, fucking the, the national security alert pops, and Ironwood cut the hardest promo I've ever seen. <laughs> Literally ever. Amen. Why did he cut it like that? Can you I, tell that, me? That, that's the that's the hard heel turn. <laughs> he he's a full it on was, heel now. It, it, it it's was the people's literally, fault. It was literally a fucking SummerSlam promo. It might not. It might be Survivor Series. No, nah, that 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 that's the night after you you did some fuck shit at the pay per view, <laughs> and you're explaining your actions, and and you 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 literally do the generic heel thing where you say it's the people's fault. <laughs> he directly calls out Penny and is like, "Yo, come to the fucking vault." Or I'm dropping a nuke on Mantle. No more Mantle. At all. We're done here. Hey, hey, hey R- Ruby and them, if, if you know where she is, and... Hey, I know where y'all are. Yeah, y'all in here somewhere. Nigga, he knows exactly. I know he didn't say, but he knows exactly where they are. Oh, for sure. He was definitely trying to figure hey, out a strike team to get over there. You let out? Nah, Aesop's going there. Aesop's going straight over there. Aesop's going over. It's over. <laughs> they, they said, to... We don't know where she is. Have you tried her fucking house? <laughs> Aesop might get jumped, honestly. Yeah, no. They're, they're, there's already infighting. That, that faction is done. That Aesop's faction No, is I'm done. saying, like, even if they do, like, a straight up, like, another team fight, like, they have more people now. Got yeah. Jon and Ren. And, and Asuka. They also have the damn game genie in fucking Emerald. Oh, I forgot about her. I don't know what she's going to do. Actually, yeah, we should... What does Emerald do now? Uh, she picks right until Cinder pops up, and that becomes her everything again. I need to know what she's like this stuff. Because she, she... I know what they were doing when she was walking through the tunnel of everybody that, that's in Atlas in the fucking bunker. And she saw those kids struggling. Like, damn, they're just like me. It, it, they're just like me, and this is indirectly, yet directly, my fault. This is directly, actually, no, it's indirectly her fault. Because this is a different situation. It's not, it's not like she's the, still part of it, even though, even though she she didn't actually do anything. Like she got here late. I mean, she's not she's not doing anything to stop it, but she's not directly helping anything either. Right. Even though she didn't, she wasn't like involved in, tur- in turning uh, Atlas and and Mantle into a war zone. She She's definitely not. Was, is still part of the group, and it's guilty by association. All right. <clears throat> so now she's, you know, first-hand account that she is literally a part of the cycle of hatred. 
Is she gonna? Is because if she has a, if they're trying to tell me she has a conscience and she's not a fucking piece of shit, even though she is. This is this is where you turn, right? Yes. Realistically, this is where you're, where you're supposed. Not to not even not even there in the tunnel. You get back to action. No, I don't. No, I, I, yeah, after, no, no, no. After you see the kids, you start thinking on it, and then something is and going then, to nah, happen. The, if anything, the manner is where I start thinking about it too. After yes. I would cuss the promo, because because Salem is being a piece of shit, this guy is actually considering Generally. nuking a fucking a nation so that I can escape her. He's doing all this because he's afraid of Salem, and I'm helping Salem. Why am I helping Salem? This is where she turns. Right? There has to be where she turns. No other, no other opportunity for it. Yeah, no, because we already saw Hazel turn and H- Hazel's death, um, seeing the kids, Ironwood, all of that should lead to her turning. And boy, is that going to be a weird reunion when, when, we, when she goes with us to fucking Vacuo to go slap up Mercury. She might get murked. Yeah, probably. It's Cinder's fault. I think, I think her semblance is too versatile for her to still be alive. That shit on the heroes team. Why do they lose ever? What do you mean? Why do they lose? Why would they lose? <laughs> because you you start creating things that are immune to that semblance. All right, and this is where we come back to. I told you last week, or no, two weeks ago. I told you there is no counter to this fucking thing. I, it works on literally everybody. No, I said this. I said this. I've been <laughs> trying to figure out how this goddamn thing works, and nobody knows. It's literally it's, MacGuffin it, the fucking power. It's it. It's the best semblance ever created. There's no reason why you should ever lose a fight if you're fighting... If you are Emerald, there's no reason why you lose. Unless that nigga... Unless you literally do no damage, or you can't kill them. And, I mean, that happens, because Salem exists, but... There's no reason why you should lose a fight. Damn, ever. In the power. Ever. That's probably why she hasn't had a fight. Yeah, I don't think she's lost she... on screen yet. <laughs> what, what fight... What, what actual fight she, she has she been in? Oh, well, she fucking waxed Coco and Yasuhashi. And oh, my too. God, bro. No, y- Yasuhashi watched himself. <laughs> that guy's so dog shit. Yeah, she had that guy seeing stars, and then, and then she knocked him out. That's <laughs> And same thing with Coco. Coco, Coco got, got hit with the damn... What, what, she, she got hit with that damn, that damn uh, pocket sand. Yeah, the pocket sand is fucking... It's, called. It's, it's the pocket sand meme where <laughs> it's, instead of it being sand, it's the damn uh, mosaic... <laughs> Nah, she got hit with the fucking Relento lynching from Ultra Street Fighter 4, bro. So she got hit with. I'm pretty sure that's so what. Yeah, she got chained up by leg. The damn uh, saga finisher. Oh, yeah, I got waxed. <clears throat> but no, I character. She has to go. Something has to. Send her house to Mercury or something. I don't know. I don't know. She got to go. Honestly, we, we, we might see the end of Cinder at the, in, in, this, in this volume. Yeah, so that'll be. If, if we do it, she'll be the worst fucking villain ever if if she does because some somebody is definitely dying i i think penny is dying again um i think <laughs> i think we we might see watts die because watts is is literally it, it's it's he, gonna look like it comes out of nowhere but he might actually die for cinder he's done his job i think he's done everything he needs to He's got back at fucking Petro because he put the virus in the daughter. He's fucking helped Salem because she might get the relic. Like, if if I'm Watts, what what else do I? Unless it's that seat at the table shit in the new world or whatever. But Tyrion said it himself. We all know she's gonna blow everything up, so it's not going to be a new world except for Salem. We all know this. But if I'm Watts, what do I? What reason do I have to stick around? Not even like join the heroes or anything, but. I've done my shit. Why do I need to? I can just go fuck off somewhere and wait for the end of the world. Yeah, no, no, like that's. Like what? I've done my shit. I'm done. <laughs> you know, we, we brought finished. up a very good point off camera about how they've been sitting here dicking around in this house, and Mantle has been getting torn up. The happy huntresses are getting Bro. literally suplexed. Fiona hasn't slept, <laughs> and these niggas are in the Chati house just chilling. What are you guys? <laughs> Having a I grand old time, playing cards, sharing yeah, stories, Nora. drinking coffee. Yeah, no, Nora's hurt. We gotta help Nora. Nigga, bring her down to Mansell so that when she's ready to come back to fighting, she can come back to fighting. Don't have her up in Atlas for no reason. And don't you oh, Al- stay up there. Atlas is getting attacked too, bro. Mansell's getting it worse. Atlas has a military... We said this already. Like, Phoenix don't get out of there. 
the the threat is literally at, at the Atlas borders, being being held off by Hulkbuster suits and and some other shit. Meanwhile, you you look at Mantle and the streets are empty. If if you didn't get evacuated by the Happy Huntresses, you're hiding in your house, praying to God that something doesn't kick your door in. Like the only narrative reason I could see for why they stayed so long is that they could figure out that they could send the SDC ships down the Mantle. But even yeah, then, but that, that shouldn't have taken you that long. I mean, they had to they had to construct it in a way to where I guess it's building up towards a climax of Ironwood losing his shit and trying to fucking step back during that fucking nuke into Mantle. I guess. Cause those two things are direct like those ships were never meant to make it to Mantle. They were never meant to make it. They were they were meant to fucking serve as Ironwood using the people of Mantle as leverage. Cause that's what this guy's all about. It's so far. Decision. It is far, but Man. <laughs> it's like right, that's so that's that's still the goat. The yeah. voice actor carrying that fucking character. Let me tell you, what character Ironwood. Oh yeah, no, okay, because that they're guy's performance. Lot, they're doing a lot of lot of interesting things with him. Like he he's yeah, a lot of cool shit. I I get what what he what what the what character he's supposed to be he's supposed to be absolute justice and and nothing will stop me. But they're not even like doing it right. Like, if anything, it was absolute justice before, and now he's slowly just becoming. And now he, he's he's just cha- out of he's just chaos. That's it. Yeah, he's he's actually just becoming. He's blowing show. ships up. He's he's <laughs> literally he's abandoning the people, holding hostages, holding a lot of hostages, holding hostages, arresting people that he can use. Hold- <laughs> yeah, like his, his character is definitely a blow up, but I still enjoy seeing it because it's always funny. In a good way. I love that they say, you, we got Jacques. I care about Jacques. Hey, we, we got, we recovered Jacques Schnee from the rubble. Bro, who the fuck cares? What do I do with that? I do not Tell give me what a I do. fuck about some Jacques Schnee. Tell me what I do. Also, those niggas got handled by a fucking defenseless crow. No weapon, nothing. No, the fact that that one guy got blown up by by crow in the, in the damn bird form, that, that guy should be ashamed of himself. A bird was doing damage. If a bird started fucking me up, I wouldn't know what to do. Bro, he flew I'm not in the directly military. Directly into but... him and sent him flying into the wall. I maybe he still he still weighs just as much as a regular nigga when he's a bird. There's bro. no goddamn way. It's magic. Anything's possible. I bro. I don't care. It's magic. Come on. Anyway, I'm ending this shit before you make me even angry with this with this Ruby logic. <laughs> I'm always right. I'm always right. Yeah, unless I ask you about uh, Emerald Semblance, and then everybody. I was right on that too. Whatever. We'll watch the shit back. We'll watch the tapes back. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we're out of here for the week. I want to thank you all for watching. Share, subscribe, um, comment, all that stuff like that. And, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. And Godspeed. Later.